Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Cheyenne, welcome. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. It takes two seconds and a girl will really appreciate it. As you can see from the title, I literally have an autumn winter haul for you guys. I've been so excited to do this video because I'm not gonna lie, there's some things I've actually already worn because I've just been waiting to wear them. So now I can wear them freely because I've shown you guys, you know? I've literally got so much to go through. I'm just conscious of the lighting though. It's four o'clock and when I checked, the sun sets at 4.25, so it's going to get dark rapidly. So, yeah, anyways, I've literally got so many things to go through. I really don't want it to be too long of a video, but I'm also gonna try the things on because I've had a lot of my friends tell me to try the things on. I get it though, I actually do get it because when you watch a video, you want to see them try it on. Like, yeah, it's nice seeing it, but trying it on eats every time. I just realized the lighting shouldn't even matter because I have to close my blinds anyway. Can't see this body for free. <laughs> Let me stop because people will actually take me seriously. I don't want to start with first, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna start with the things that I've actually already worn. First, we have Ugg. <sighs> can't lie, I was very basic with this because I know that like, everyone has them right now, but you can't really go wrong with Uggs. Do you know what I mean? I wanted the Ultra Minis, but they're too hard to find. They actually, please. Remember, I, you know when you go on a website, right, and something's sold out and you put your email so they can notify you when it's back in stock. I put my email so I could be notified by the Ultra Minis in like November of last year. It's been a year. Tell me why <laughs> they were back in stock. I think like June of this year. Someone do the maths, but why? And do you know what, it's funny. I should have actually bought them at the time that they came back in stock, but I just thought it's summer. Why do I need Uggs right now? And look, whose fault is that? But yeah, anyways, I settled for the, well, they're still cute, but I settled for the mini shorts. Ignore my nails, guys, they're so bad. But yeah, they're so soft, so cozy. I'm not gonna talk about these too much. Everyone has them. Anyways, I'm so extra when I get shoes. I always like package them up the way that they came. I've worn these literally like three times. I actually don't remember everything that I've got. But yeah, pull them bear. Oh. I got another trench coat from Pull and Bear. Just an ordinary leather trench. Um, because I I might even tell you the story about what happened to my other one because you just can't write this shit. But yeah, I had to buy another one. <laughs> because I had to make a sacrifice with the other one and I just, I couldn't wear it again, basically. Can't, you honestly can't go wrong with a leather trench. Like, I sometimes wish that it had fur inside it though, because if you're not wearing a hoodie underneath and you're wearing like a crop top or like a short sleeve or something, leather's always cold in winter. Like even though leather's supposed to keep you warm in winter, when you first, like for example, when I first put on this jacket, it's always so cold. Like, you have to like warm up to it, do you know what I mean? Oh, I think I'm gonna put my hair up because it's just like really getting in the way right now. Yeah, you guys have probably seen it already if you've watched my uni vlog. I've actually already worn this, so it's nothing too exciting. But again, you literally can't go wrong. Like I love it, like it's so cute. Like you can wear a tracky, you can wear it with jeans. Like I literally love it so much. What the hell is that on my face? Anyways, it's so long, I don't know if you can see, but to be fair, for reference, I'm I think I'm 5'4 and something. I don't know, 5'4 and a bit. Um, but it literally comes up to like there. Oh my god, my toes aren't even done. And also as well, with my other trench coat, my other trench coat was from Miss Pap. And maybe it's a blessing in disguise that I got rid of it because I was never really keen on it anyway. Like the it was obviously the all faux leather, but that one literally looked and felt like faux leather. I just didn't really like it. I was quite big on the shoulders. Like it, I didn't like it. So this one actually I love so much better anyway. And it's got like the pocket at the back, which is what I really wanted in a trench coat. I just feel like, why? Like that's such a significant part of a trench. I've shown you two things, two things, and I'm already sweating. Anyways, okay, what should we do next? Zara. 
because there's one thing in this box that again i've actually already worn so i'm going to show you guys i got quite a few things from zara actually um let me go through i'll go through the bag first and put my hair up i can't do this shit where is my hair bag okay that's gonna have to do guys i literally did my braids last night so they're still quite stiff and they're paining me they're still heavy and just don't weigh me down but just a brief shout out shout out to the hair boutique eats every single time every single time yep i literally love them though like it's winter season i had to get my braids back and if you see me with these braids in about two months mind your business okay so with zara um i got some jeans i got two pairs of the same g i think they're the same jeans i think um but the first pair i got are the black i think they're reg like a regular fit i'm not sure i've worn these already though hence why there's no tag yeah just basic because the thing is like all the jeans that i do have are literally ripped and they have rips in them and obviously it's winter now like you don't really want any skin showing do you know what i mean especially if i want to layer so if i wanted to wear like a jumpsuit underneath this or leggings i could do so because there's no rips so these are the black ones then we've got the blue ones oh just wanted to be sure if it um focuses yeah these are the blue zara jeans so these are blue zara jeans they do they are a tiny bit big in the back but it's, i could always get them tailored the thing is i say that but then i never actually end up tailoring them anyway but they're just really 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 comfy usually with zara jeans i find that they're not the most comfortable especially when you sit down they're quite tight in the crutch area is that yeah is that a, is that a swear word is that a swear, is that a swear word no crotch anyways yeah i just find them quite tight in that area when i sit down the girls that get it get it some jeans are just not sitting down jeans they're standing jeans okay so these are the black ones i've literally just put on a random cropped blazer i obviously wouldn't wear this top out guys okay just have to make that very clear same thing they're really comfortable they're a bit baggy and i know that i could definitely layer underneath these they're like an acidy i don't know if you can tell from the camera if i compare them to my blazer and the jeans you can see they're a bit of like an acidy washed out black which i like me personally like i just don't like dark black jeans i just don't think they're nice okay, i've been looking for jesus for ages so i finally found some when i saw them in zara i was like buying the two jeans the the blue jeans and the black jeans I didn't actually go in intending to buy but when I saw them I was like I actually have needed these jeans so I'm going to buy them. I have no regrets though, I've worn these a billion times already so I kind of feel like a fraud even putting these in the video. <laughs> but yeah, I, as soon as I bought them I started wearing them straight away because they just go with everything. They look extra long right now but they literally sit perfectly on top of my shoes so i love okay so the next thing that i got from zara was a shirt and not gonna lie false advertisement it's still a nice shirt i've not yet tried it so i'm gonna try it now obviously but the material is like so weird i got this two piece that i've been wanting for ages this i've worn already again guys i'm really thinking she's worn everything why is she put in the video but i literally love this so much like I've worn it like twice and it's just such a quick outfit to put together because it's actually a co-ord. It's really, really, really soft as well. Like, you know, have you ever like just put on an outfit and it's just so soft and you just feel so comfy? Like, that is this outfit. Like, it's just so soft. Obviously, I know for some people they might not like it as much because it's sleeveless, but I love it. I think it's so cute. I'm scared to try it on because of my makeup, but for you guys, I'll make the sacrifice. Now, this was like... I think it was like 22 99 to so 23 pounds. I think. I don't remember, guys. I don't remember. And then I have the trousers. They're like a... F yeah, they're like a flared... Like, low-waisted cotton. Is this cotton? Yeah. Ciao. So they feel like pyjamas. Like, that's the only thing I would say. They're literally a cream flared. Like, you could wear these with so, much, so many things because of the colour. But at the same time, you need to be careful of what you pair it with because i feel like on it on their own they actually do like pajamas to be fair it's loungewear so you know okay guys so this is the outfit on it's giving grown it's giving mom it's giving not doing too much but still cute i could just sit down with like my trench coat i can pair it with my arcs i guess if you wanted to be like creative everybody's so creative you can just tuck it in maybe as well I really do like this. I actually really, really, really like this. 
So obviously the next thing that I have from Zara is the shirt that I was on about. Oh, I've got a top too. Oh, what a surprise. What is this? Oh, okay, I remember buying this now. But it's just a basic vest top, I guess. Um, it feels quite big though. It's a small. But the thing is with Zara, like, and their sizing, their sizing is so off. Like, I usually, even though like I'm quite a petite person, I usually have to go for medium in the tops because of my boobs and I don't have big boobs but obviously with vest tops you want them to fit a lot tighter right so I will size down to a small or an extra small or whatever so it's just so weird this looks big and like the material of it is quite like slinky so I would want this to be tight okay so this is a shirt this is an ordinary shirt it's just like a it's not linen but it's kind of giving me linen vibes like it has like holes yeah let me just try it on for you guys Okay, so this is the top and the shirt. I really do like the top, to be fair. Like, I'm so glad that I like it because I really wanted to like it. And the shirt, I do actually like the shirt. It is quite cute. Like, it has actually grown on me, to be fair. Oh, that's, that's, no, I don't like that. It's quite see-through. I'll think about that because I don't really know. This is giving, like, such a summer vibe, even though it's supposed to be an autumn-winter haul. But these are honestly just basics, basic essentials that I feel like everybody needs. If you want to build up your wardrobe and have outfits, then you need to buy versatile pieces that can go with multiple things. So this is from Glamify, I think. I think it's from Glamify. And for, I think if I can remember correctly, I think it was like 65 pounds, I think. The thing is though, I could have easily got this jacket from like, wood green so like all my north london babes i could have got this jacket from wood green market honestly like i will be so real this is the alaska gray jacket when i first took it out of the packaging i was so shocked by the quality the quality is so nice like it's so thick and i think they even described it as the duvet jacket because it keeps you that warm i feel like i feel the most pretty when i dress feminine and i've never really liked puffer jackets because they're too like I don't know, what's the word, like, I'd say that like masculine, like, they just make me look more like, this is best of both worlds, it's a puffer jacket, but it's such a feminine puffer jacket, so let me try it on, so yeah, it's the Alaska grey, I feel like in some lightings it looks brown, in other lightings it looks grey, oh, I love it already, oh my god, oh my god, I literally love it already, it's so flipping cute, that's not it guys, that's not it, No, I literally love this jacket so much. This is so cute. FYI, guys, they did actually have this in two sizes. So they had the short puffer, which is this one. So it's obviously not that long. And then they have the longer one. And that one's just as cute, honestly. Like, it's so cute. Um, but I just think it gives, like, trench coat vibes, but in a puffer jacket. Okay, so next thing I have is H&M. H&M so good for basic essentials i've got a gray turtleneck and a black turtleneck these are like the typical like jumper cotton turtlenecks i don't know if these are actual like going out long sleeve tops or thermal long sleeve tops i think online this was about 27 pounds i think at the time i got it for i think like 21 pounds so i've just saved myself six quid babe Okay, this is kind of give a neck brace, but I kind of like it, but I don't know because why is it... It's really like, I've got a long neck anyway, but it's really like emphasising how long my neck is. What the fuck? I swear when I tried it on in the shop, it did not look like this. But yeah, I mean, to be fair, I can always just fold it down. It's not really that deep. Now it's giving like Christmas jumper, dad vibes. Like, I've just paired it with the black jeans. I don't really like it with the black jeans because it's baggy on baggy. Like, if I'm going to wear something baggy on top, then I will wear something tight on the bottom. Like, even if I was wearing black leggings, that would literally be better than these right now. But, like, even, like, a black skirt, like, tight. I can't lie, though, it's quite an itchy material. Like, it's soft, but it's, like, an itchy soft material. So, I don't know. Back in the bag she goes. Because I really need to think about that. I need to think about if I actually really want that, because I don't know if I want that. It's a black one. Again, it's going to look similar because they are the same jumper. Black just makes me feel more sexy. Like, even though this is like still looking like a neck brace, I just feel more serious. Like, 
I've always loved turtlenecks though, and I think my love for turtlenecks and stuff, like turtlenecks blazes and things like that, I think it started from when I was in sixth form because before that I wouldn't wear anything like this. But then when I went to sixth form, we were forced to dress like smart cash. Like that's what that's where my love for turtlenecks and smart casual wear derived from. But what the hell is this? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? It's just baggy in all the wrong places. Like why is it baggy at my armpits? Oh my god. I don't know. I'm not even gonna bother try on the other colours. There's this colour, a beigey colour, cute. And then there's just a black. Okay, so the last thing that I have to show you guys is my Sheen package. And this is the one I'm so excited for because Sheen, you can get so much for so little. That was very underwhelming, wasn't it? Oh my god, I forgot I got this! Oh, I'm so, I'm actually so excited to try this on. Yeah, so it's literally, why does it look blue on the camera? It's literally like a grey. Like, surprisingly, even though I actually do yoga, I don't own any of these sets. But I just feel like these are so cute because they're just like errand outfits. Like, okay, so this is it on. Um, I don't know if I like it, you know. It just feels really, I don't know. I don't like the leggings. Let me just put the camera lower. I don't know what I don't like about it. To be fair, it is cute, it is cute, but I just feel like, I just don't like when things are baggy in the wrong place. It's like, why is it baggy here? Like, that's the worst place for leggings to be baggy. It's like a band. I don't like the band. Uh, maybe if that wasn't there and it was like, yeah, maybe if it was like that, let me just fold it over. Maybe that's what you're meant to do. To be fair, I feel like it's cute like that. It's a bit better. Anyways, so the next thing I have is, I think, a jumper. Oh no, it looks quite similar to the H&M one. Oh, it's literally just a jumper. It's literally just a jumper. Can't really go wrong with that, can ya? I mean, to be fair, considering it's Sheen, the quality's not that bad, you know? When it comes to Sheen and, like, AliExpress and stuff, I wouldn't get, like, winter things, usually, from any of those places, either of those places, because chances are the quality is going to be so dead and it's going to be thin and you know so that's why i always say sheen is such a holiday shop like buy your holiday stuff from sheen but this is actually calm like it's really soft like yeah it's actually really soft it's giving turtleneck though like it's, it goes up quite high can you see shout out to daisy that's the best that's actually one of the best collections on sheen daisy Sheen Bay, Sheen Sexy, and there must be another one, but I don't, I don't remember. Those are my three main ones. I think I'm going to show you guys all of the pieces that I've got from Sheen and then try them on all at once at the end. So with that being said, the next one that I have is, I don't even know what this is actually. Oh, it's a scarf. Okay, it's a scarf. I love these scarves so much. I literally have this in white and I rinse out the white one. So it's so good that I have a black one because they're so soft. Oh my god, wait, I wanna try that balaclava trick I keep seeing on TikTok. Apparently it's like, why does it sound static? That's so weird. Anyways, I think it's like this. Wait, it's like this. Cross it over and I think, I don't know if she tucks it up. She tucks it in like that, and then there, and then I think you get the loop at the back, and then put it on with my bond. This was not smart, and then voila. Okay, I need to adjust it a bit because this is not exactly how it looked on the girl. Yeah, there you go. Balaclava. This is so cute. This is actually so cute. Oh, I said I wasn't trying anything on. I just had a whole blast of that scarf. Ooh, bars. What is that on my hair? Oh. Okay, so the next thing I got is a score. I don't like the quality of this. <laughs> Should have gone to Zara. To be fair, this will still eat up, nevertheless. But, um, yeah, I'm actually excited to try this on because I hope it, look, it fits nice. So that's a score. What was I thinking? I've literally got four turtlenecks. Two black and two grey. To be fair, this is more of a sweater, it's not a turtleneck, I lied. So, yeah, this is actually really cute, to be fair. Obviously not with these leggings. <laughs> I'm actually excited to try that on. Next, 
next, next. I don't, oh my God, it's literally gray. <laughs> What is this? Uh, oh, never mind. I remember this. One of those like V V neck sweater things that, that go over like a shirt or a jumper. I would probably put this over a shirt personally. I can see a cardigan and I do like the color already. It's like a brownie. No, this is really cute. Oh, this is really cute. I actually really like this. Look. That is so cute. This is actually such good quality. Like I'm so surprised by the qualities of the quality of the jumpers that I've had so far, like I've, that I've opened so far because Sheen has actually surprised me. I did get a few accessories. All oh, these are even softer than my white ones actually. This is so cute. These are so much more comfortable than my white ones because my white ones have like some sort of like plastic in them. So when I wear them, they actually start to ache my ears. These are just soft. Next, gloves. I don't really need to show you guys these, but they're just plain black gloves. I've got a little black bag. It's giving Balenciaga. Doop. <laughs> okay. It is cute though. Like I know it will go over a lot. Okay, so I've got a jumpsuit. This looks like it was made for someone who's about six foot three. Oh. <laughs> I knew I should have got the moose level one. Oh, uh, very cute. I don't know how I'm supposed to iron this though, but this is the skirt. <gasps> so I'm going to try it out and we're going to see how this looks on me when I go to Paris. Okay, what the hell is this now? What the hell is this? What the hell is this, challenge? Oh, okay. Just a plain um, white t-shirt for layering purposes. Like I could wear this underneath like a jumper or, you know. This is definitely going to be see-through. This is not giving medium though, it's giving large. Okay, let me try everything on for you guys. Okay guys, this is the first outfit. It's actually really cute. I paid it with some tights, but this is actually a really cute fit. This will be cute with boots, I think. It's really comfortable, it's warm. If I wanted to be extra, I could pair it with something else over, like the trench coat. But I think this on its own is actually a really cute outfit. Okay, so next, this is the cardigan. I really like this cardigan, it's actually so cute. I really do like it off the shoulder but you could always just wear it normally or like with a top underneath i'm not actually wearing any, anything underneath but it's because i wanted to wear it like this and try it on like this i've paired it with the squat but i don't think i'd wear it with this squat but i'm just gonna kill two birds with one stone this is the squat though just so you guys can see um look proper shorts at the back and then looks like a skirt at the front any like mini skirts or squats or anything they always look so much cuter with boots because if I was to wear trainers with this, I could, but I just feel like, to be fair, I could because I'm wearing tights, but if tights weren't in the equation, then it definitely would have to be a boots thing because I just feel like, for me, when I show too much leg, it actually ruins the outfit. Unless I'm like wearing jean shorts, that's a different, that's a different type of style, but I just feel like with this, boots is always the way. So, yeah, but I actually do realise it's really cute. But I'm going to try this on next, but... I really want to show you guys the vision that I had and it might not eat but we're gonna see the vision didn't eat this is what I wanted it to look like but this is what it looked like I think that the jumper on its own is fine because that oversized and bagging it's soft but yeah it's, it didn't fit the vision like I failed clearly and the t-shirt is giving wearing my boyfriend's that's what it's given that's actually what it's given okay guys this is a jumpsuit i think i spoke too soon because i actually do quite like it like, i think it's quite nice i don't really feel like it's the most comfortable i feel like the moose lover one probably is a better well it is a better quality jumpsuit this will do the job like it still looks the same it gives the same vibe you can dress it up dress it down it does cut quite low though so bear that in mind for it to fit good on the arms it needs to be lower which is a bit annoying i would have liked to have had the thumb holes in it because that's just just complete the jumpsuit i feel like not everyone likes the thumb holes but i just like to know that they're there i don't actually really ever use them anyway but just knowing they're there when i want to use them i've got one more jumper to try and we'll try it on over this so you can see what it looks like okay so this is the other jumper just a plain gray sweater it's really really comfy it actually is it's really soft, it's stretchy, it's baggy, I really like it. Only thing is, this 
it's actually probably my first time really ever buying sweaters because I have a few already in my wardrobe, but I just feel like they always give me prison vibes. Like this literally looks like prison prison uniform. Like if you didn't see, if I don't have the bag, it literally gives like HMP fresh out of Pentonville. That's what it gives. <laughs> that is literally what it gives. So that's that's the whole reason why I had to pair with the bag so you guys could see the vision. <laughs> Who's this? Interrupting my video. Anyways, but yeah, I think it's still cute. To be fair. I'm literally going out to eat straight after this video. So maybe I should just keep this jumpsuit on. But, hmm. It's because now that it's on, I'm actually comfy now. That's why jumpsuits are so convenient because like, they're literally a scam because you're really drawn into the addiction because once you put on one jumpsuit, you will live in that jumpsuit after that because it's just, they're just so convenient. Like, forget looking for a top, forget looking for bottoms. It's all in one, babe. Do you know what I mean? This is literally everything you could ever ask for. Oh my God, I was just about to end the video, but let me show you how sexy these boots are. I wasn't actually gonna add these boots into this video because I didn't buy these with the intentions of wearing them like for winter. They were just for my Halloween outfit. I've wanted these boots for ages anyway, but since Halloween just passed, it was even more of a reason to buy them because they were for my outfit. Drumroll. How cute are these boots? Oh my god. This jumpsuit is so dead right now, it's just so casual. If I put these boots on, baby girl, that's a whole different outfit. These are from Ego. These are from Ego, I think. Ego? Ego Public Public Desire. Public Desire? Public Desire. I don't know. I think they're from Ego. I'm actually like 99% sure they're from Ego. I think they're like £52, I think. But they're worth it, babe. They're so nice. But yeah. These are so cute and I just thought I'd add them because see fair, they are something that I bought recently. And yeah. Anyways guys, I'm gonna end the video here. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was actually so fun. Again, if you are new here and you stuck to the end, it's a sign, babe. Let's be besties, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, then let me know, please. I don't bite. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.